we propose a trustworthy LM evaluation toolkit, Kurt Evil. It builds upon a notion of knowledge invariant perturbations and reuse static benchmarks. We develop two types of such perturbation, and we re-evaluate six LLMs and discovered their significant overestimated performance. Welcome to this video. Here I will be presenting our recent work on knowledge capacity evaluation of large language models. This is a joint work by Alibaba Cloud Computing and the University of Science and Technology of China and has been recently accepted as a spotlight at this year's New RIPS. Large language models are developing rapidly and have shown excellent basic capacities like reasoning, planning, and word knowledge. As these models are continuously deployed in our life, evaluating their real capacities become necessary. For this purpose, reporting the performance of large language models on expert-designed close-ended benchmarks has become a common practice. These benchmarks usually consist of multi-choice questions, making it easy to quantify performance such as accuracy. When new models are released, we will often see this form of result, with each number being a performance metric on certain benchmark, and higher numbers indicating better capacities. To conclude, LM capacities evaluation is usually conducted on close-ended benchmarks. This is the first background. The second background of our work relates to data contamination, which means the data has been consumed during training, and LMs can even memory this data word by word. For reference, a study from last year tested large language model for memorizing of table data. They also developed several tests and found strong evidence indicated by the green check marks that the tested LMs has at least known or even memorized this tabular data. An example of tabular data has been illustrated, which should be perceived special for a, from a natural language perspective. And if LMs have a con contamination issue for tabular data, not to mention standard natural language data. The aforementioned two backgrounds together may lead to a severe issue for LM evaluation. As a golden principle in machine learning, the benchmark or testing data should be reserved separately, which we referred to as clean testing data without overlapping to the training data. However, as data contamination is ubiquitous in LLMs, the principle will probably not hold for existing benchmarks, and the corresponding performance of this benchmark will be improved, leading to unreliable evaluation. This effect has already been empirically verified. For the most severe contamination, which is shown in the green of the table, the performance of a 7 billion model already approached to perfectly correct, and a 1.3 billion model could perform better than a 65 billion model without deliberate contamination. To this end, our work targets for trustworthy capacity evaluation, and we consider a question that can we reuse this expert-designed benchmark for this purpose, as these benchmarks cover many aspects of human knowledge, and this type of evaluation has its unique merit. Fortunately, the answer to the question is yes, using perturbations. Our motivation is that if an LLM does master a knowledge point, it should be able to answer a question about the different form of that knowledge point. While the concept of LM perturbation has been extensively studied, mainly under the context of adversary attacks, the goal is to follow a model with least change to the input, as known as a prompt attack. However, for evaluation, the emphasis is not fooling the model, but to probe the real knowledge mastery. Correspondingly, we propose the notion of knowledge invariant perturbations which requires the perturbation does not impact the knowledge aspect of questions. Specifically, we exploit two types of such knowledge environment perturbations. Recall that the benchmarks usually consist of multi-choice questions. For the content-level perturbation, we prompt a LLM to rephrase the sen question sentence by sentence, giving it detailed instructions and criteria about knowledge environments. An example of rephrasing is given below. We also devise five types of format-level perturbations, 
ranging from training option IDs and uh, converting multi-choice question to judgment question, to swapping the positions of questions and options. We then investigate whether these perturbations are genuinely knowledge environment for LLMs, and we have developed two types of such investigation. The first investigation is referred to as knowledge invariance scoring, for which we ask a capable LM to score these perturbations given the four standards of knowledge invariance. We adopt a five-type scoring system, and all our perturbations have higher scores, mostly approaching to the perfect tile than prompt attack perturbations. The second investigation directly evaluates the impacts of perturbation. We choose a subset of mastered questions that all our tested 6 LMs can answer correctly. We then compare the performance of a SOTA LM on mastered question before and after perturbations, and it turns out that the impacts are mostly marginal. Given these results, we establish the knowledge invariance property of our perturbations, and we call our evaluation method with knowledge invariant perturbation as PERT evil. Using PERT evil, we re-evaluate six popular LMs and the results by raw benchmarks, put evil, and both are illustrated. We have two main findings. First, we observe a significant over-evaluation on static benchmarks. For instance, the absolute overestimation for two SOTA commercial LMs are 26 and 38% respectively. Second, each LM does robustly master some knowledge as all models have a higher consistent score shown in orange than random guessing, which is six and a quarter percent. We further conduct a response pattern analysis to attribute the over evaluation. The results reveal that the decreased performance mainly goes to multiple selections, either with or without the correct one. This implies that Pert evil could retain LM's uncertainty to specious knowledge and reveals their previous memorization to correct option, which leads to overestimate the performance. The concrete impacts by individual perturbation strategy has also been investigated. The results are also provided for reference. As a brief summary, our work studies to unveiling the real knowledge capacity of large language models with knowledge invariant perturbations. We reassert that Static benchmark based LM evaluation is very likely to be unreliable due to data contamination. As a response, we propose a trustworthy LM evaluation toolkit, PERT EVIL. It builds upon a notion of knowledge invariant perturbations and reuse static benchmarks. We develop two types of such perturbation, and we re evaluate six LMs and discover their significant over estimated performance. Please find our paper code and data online if you are interested in this work. Finally, our team is working on more comprehensive e evaluation of large language models, and the service is available on Alibaba Cloud platform for AI. More information is available online, and thanks for watching the video.